name is uh, Aurman. <laughs> yeah, I know. Aurman. Uh, it's not my fault, it's my parents. <laughs> they did this to me when I was very young. Couldn't defend myself. <laughs> and I'm gonna be your guy today. Oh, well, here we have Ragnar. Ragnar. Yeah. And Ragnar is the driver. Which is why we are gonna try keeping him right there most of the time. Uh, if you find the Ragnar running up and down the aisle at some point, let me know because that could be a problem. <laughs> Especially if we are moving. But uh, we are good to go. And I'm gonna sit down because I'm not allowed to stand while we're driving. No one is allowed to stand while we're driving, just so you know. Uh, a few things I need to address. Uh, before we go anywhere and we start with seatbelts. We always do. Seatbelts only have one purpose. That's your safety. And you need to fasten them every time before we leave a location. It's not like you do it now, you search your time and never have to do that again. No, every time. That's required by law in Iceland and no one wants to go to prison for not fastening seatbelts. If you're so interested in going to prison, you should do something more profitable. <laughs> My mother used to say.
Pete was doing this to them. And they thought, yeah, I absolutely hate Iceland. But then they went to images and, uh, oh, but it looks so pretty. Might be worth it to go there one day once this is over. And that's exactly what happened. People started coming to Iceland and because the chroma was so worthless.
whereabouts of Washington. Yeah, we do we do have a slight problem with that number in Iceland or the Icelandic word for the number six. Uh, we just kind of try to avoid saying that aloud if anybody foreign is near. Anybody know why? Yeah, it's because the Icelandic word for six is sex. It's even written exactly the same. Uh, we just don't want you to get the wrong idea. We, we are not talking about sex all the time. We actually hardly ever mention it. Well, at least not in my home. <laughs> but it's even worse if we have to say 16 because instead of we say town.
awkward. So I ask around and I'm told that one of my neighbors made this comment about my nose. So now I'm some sort of a laughing stock. And of course, I'm absolutely furious, but since I'm a relatively peaceful guy, I go confront my neighbor and say to him, you have offended me, so now you have to apologize publicly, and you have to pay me some hefty damages. And if he's also relatively peaceful or a coward, uh, then he says, yeah, sorry man, that was so uncalled for. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna apologize, and uh, here you have 100 silver for your inconvenience. And that's it, I have reclaimed my honor, and Nobody's laughing at my nose anymore. If he on the other hand says, well, you do have a big ugly nose, you know, and it's not my fault, so deal with it. I have very few options, but you can it. Located. Uh, even though it's in the 
southwest corner of Iceland. It's a relatively easy travel from most parts of the country. It was only if you were living.
Uh, yeah, I mentioned that this area is theologically unique, and that's because here we have a, a rift valley between tectonic plates. So, uh, Iceland is the top bit of the uh, Atlantic Ridge that goes down through the Atlantic Ocean. And uh, that's where we have the two big tectonic plates of North America and Eurasia drifting apart. On the west side, we have the North American plate drifting westward, resting all the way to the to the west coast of America, where it collides with the Pacific plate. On the east side of the Atlantic Ridge, we have the Eurasia plate drifting eastward, colliding with the
So yeah, if you walk down into the fissure and uh, then you'll see a flag there in front of you, slightly to the right of the path, that's, that's the old parliament site, or at least where we declared our independence. And I don't recommend that you go any, any further than that. It's a, it's a beautiful view that you are basically walking alongside the American plate. So when you're standing there on the UTEC, you can see the UTEC there in front of us. You're basically standing on the edge of the North American plate, looking off it. In front of you is the Rift Valley, which is no, no man's land. And then there on the other side, these mountains we see there in the distance, they are on a different tectonic plate. So if you want to walk alongside the North American tech tectonic plate where well, you're still on it but uh, you, you see the wall you're walking alongside the walls of it so uh, that's probably that's that, that's something you can't do anywhere else uh, there are toilets here of course um, in the building there in the middle uh, that says W C there are also toilets there in the main building if you go through the main entrance on the right and if you want to grab a cup of coffee or hot chocolate or something, you can do that in there. We'd greatly prefer if you did that uh, at the start of the stop, but not when you're leaving. We, we greatly prefer if you don't take hot beverages or food on the bus. So, uh, departure will be uh, five minutes past one. Five minutes past one, everybody. Check that in to there. That's in an hour and 15 minutes. Sorry, that's, sorry, don't, 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 no, 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 I was, I was, <laughs> I was totally confused. No, 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 it's, it's not that, it's, uh, ooh, difficult, difficult. So, uh, yeah, sorry, it's it's 1.35. What time are you showing now? So, 1.35. Uh, it's 12.50 now. Okay, so 1.35. One, uh, uh, I'm, 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 I'm totally confused here. Uh, he has an iPhone. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, I was supposed, uh, my plan is based on the trip hour before, so I'm I'm I'm. I'm Okay, so I'm going to cut 30 minutes. Uh, yeah, okay, so 1.45. That's my final offer. 1.45. So, so. Yeah. Yeah. 1.45.